Hello, December 7th. Today I have to do some more work. I won't have time to go to the gym, unfortunately. And um, I have to figure out how I'm gonna wrap. I'm going to a holiday party tonight in the city, so I'm gonna drive there. So I'm gonna show you um, the gifts that I'm bringing and I need to wrap them. I don't own wrapping paper. There wasn't really any room in the tiny condo for wrapping paper, so I never accumulated any. And I'm gonna try and think on that while I uh, work away. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap my gift in yarn. I bought everyone a nice little all natural shea milk soap from Leaves of Trees. There they are, my little gifts. <laughs> let me stay over and I'm crafting this morning with this little guy okay time to go <laughs> good morning Sunday December 9th we are supposed to be getting our Christmas tree later this afternoon but first I have to re I had to refilm and edit this Sunday's YouTube video because there were some major technical difficulties um, and uh, yeah, so I had to kick my husband out of bed. So we are going to buy a Christmas tree. I've never owned a real Christmas tree, and uh, but my husband has, so I think he's gonna be much better at this than I am. is uh, got a course in Montreal and so I don't live very far so we're going on a little ladies road trip today why, why not on a Monday why not on a Monday <laughs> winter vacation because the trouble with um, going to a cold weather destination is that everything is really bulky so I find you have to pack pretty strategically. Um, Away recently sent me two pieces of luggage so I'm going to show you how to pack for two days and two nights just in one carry-on for a cold winter getaway using this suitcase which let me tell you I feel like this suitcase was made by people who have just spent their entire lives traveling the world because there are so many little smart features and um, I know I already did a little sustainable gift guide but uh, I would add this to my or your list if you know any travelers. But here's how I'm using this one. This is their smallest carry-on. Here's how I'm using it to pack what I need. So um, the first thing, I always start with footwear when I travel. I know this might seem excessive, but for two nights, I do bring two pairs of shoes. The first pair are the more utilitarian. I know I can walk around for hours. They're comfortable. These are waterproof. I've mentioned them before in a winter essentials video. And then a pair of shoes that you can go out with. And I could definitely get away with these at night. I'm not gonna lie. But if you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love footwear and how much of a key it is to creating so many different looks with only a few pieces of clothing. So the boots that I am bringing, uh, and that I brought with me in fact to Montreal because they're perfect for night, are my patent over the knee uh, boots. Again, with a pretty sensible winter friendly heel and a nice winter friendly rubber sole. So the reason why I wear these over the knee boots in the winter is that 
Um, I've mentioned this before, is that I can wear like thermal socks under here and nobody's gonna know. These don't have to be over the knee patent, just a boot that is still winter friendly, but more elevated, probably doesn't have to be insulated as much as your regular day boots, but something that looks a little bit different and has a little bit more edge for nighttime or for a, a dressier look. Because I find when you travel, um, you know, there's nothing worse than getting a last minute invitation to something really cool and you don't feel dressed for it. So always start with good footwear. Next, I've brought with me two belts. Again, much like shoes, uh, two belts is probably excessive for a two night trip, but I believe in the power of a very tiny but mighty accessory. So one that's black and dark and a little bit more edgy, one that's light and brown and a little bit more suited to daytime casual. Next, I've got kind of my bulky um, shower stuff, shower face washing stuff. Um, I also put jewelry in here and another smaller pouch, but I, I don't bring additional jewelry. I bring one extra pair of fancy earrings in addition to all the jewelry that I travel with. It doesn't have to be earrings, could be a really cool statement bracelet or necklace or whatever you prefer. I bring one nighttime purse in addition to my my backpack which also converts into a shoulder bag which you've seen before. Now the beauty with Away is that all of these like awkward shaped bulky items really fit beautiful behind this net. I've never had a hard shell case so to be honest I was a bit worried about how things would fit um, and you know I won't be able to expand if I shop because that happens when you travel. That brings me to this other side of the suitcase and I'll show you kind of this is where I put all of my oh can you see this is where all of my clothing ends up. This is, to be honest, this is what kind of blew my mind about this suitcase, and this feature is in all of their suitcases. Um, it is this, this panel here that carries your electronics, so I was able to fit my Chromebook and my iPad. It's got these clip things that you clip on top of the panel, and when you pull them, it compresses down what is underneath, so all of your clothes, all that soft stuff, Maybe that extra sweater you bought at a local boutique. Um, I thought this was an ingenious way to do that whole expansion thing if you need. I thought this was just absolutely genius. So anyway, underneath all of this um, is really not a lot. Um, so I have my pajamas. And then when it comes to the clothes, I bring one pair of pants. But for me, I love denim, I love how it can be dressed up or down, especially when with the right pair of shoes. So I'm comfortable with my one pair of denim. These are the mop and bow mom jean style that I talked about earlier. So I, so I bring these and then I bring one lightweight turtleneck. The reason why I choose a lightweight turtleneck is that this makes a fantastic layering piece but also looks really beautiful on its own. So I know if I have to go out, I can just wear this chic turtleneck, my beautiful big pair of earrings, and I'm good to go with my awesome over-the-knee boots. The other reason why I prefer the turtleneck as your first lightweight layer, and the only lightweight layer you're gonna bring, or that I would bring, is that because it's got the turtleneck here, every time you wear it layered under something, it creates the look of a more interesting dynamic layered look because you can actually see this layer peeking through. If this were like a regular long sleeve crew, yeah, you could wear it layered underneath the top, but it's not going to have the same visual effect. All it's going to do is keep you warm. With a, tur with a turtleneck, uh, you get both the added benefit of warmth and an extra layer without the bulk, and also a little bit more visual interest. So I always, always, for a cold winter vacation, lightweight turtleneck in any color you choose. But of course I choose a neutral because it just goes with everything. Next I bring a medium weight sweater or shirt. Your medium weight layer is great for being worn over your lightweight on its own. And then if you're really cold, under your third and final clothing piece, which is what I'm wearing right now, a heavyweight sweater. This could be a cardigan. This could even be, if you're not a big fan of heavyweight sweaters, this could even be a leather jacket 
or something that provides a lot more bulk and warmth. So now you've got two items that can be layered underneath your heavier weight knit. Maybe not at the same time, whatever. But that's already three different looks. On its own, number two, and number three. Then you've got number four, these two pieces together. I mean, and then these two pieces individually as well. So these are the only items of clothing that I bring. And the other thing that I do is I always wear my bulkiest layer in transit. Not only because I'm freezing all the time, but also because more space in my suitcase. So those are really all of the items that I bring. I also always bring one big thick pair of socks uh, when I'm traveling in the winter just because it's cold. Maybe you've been waiting for a bus for a long time. So as soon as you get to your destination, I love throwing these on. It's also like a little piece of home. This is their smaller carry-on um, and I was pretty impressed with how much I could fit in here, but more so I was just really impressed with how thoughtful uh, everything in this product is. Oh, and I can't believe, for all of you techie people, I mean, I'm not very technical. I think this was also a really smart touch. Um, but for me, it was more about the clothing and fitting and all that stuff. But um, the final feature that I think especially um, business people will really appreciate is that it comes with a little, oh gosh, I won't be able to open this now. I don't know what you call these things. It comes with like a power pack. I'm horrible with technology. So you've got like a USB cable in there. I imagine when I'm stranded in an airport, I'm gonna figure out what all of those are for. Man, um, so smart. So that's what I would pack for like a two night winter getaway. You could probably get, with all of the pieces that I brought, you could probably be good for a five day getaway, to be completely honest. I really think if you stick to neutral pieces, um, different weights so that you can really mix and match your layers without being having too much bulk, then you're good to go. Oh, I should probably also show you my outerwear. It was minus 14 earlier and I wore this in and out and I was fine. If you're going to a chalet or something, then you'll need a parka, but Montreal, this was urban, cosmopolitan. I brought myself my big wool coat, my heaviest and coziest scarf, and then toque, black toque and gloves because they work with the scarf and my footwear. So I think I'm going to leave this vlogmas video there. I hope you liked it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlogmas. Ciao!